it was a little over a year ago, springtime, and um, I went for my annual checkup that I had missed the year before and my PSA kind of jumped. For 35 years, Bill Gummerson has been busy designing and building homes and businesses in Oklahoma City. He had seen the Procure building during construction, never imagining one day soon he would walk through its doors as a patient. Biopsy was um, not what I wanted and it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't what I, what I wanted and so we talked about options and um, we, we talked about um, radical surgery and we talked about the seeds and, and we talked about conventional radiation. Um, my wife mentioned proton therapy, um, but the, um, my physician wasn't necessarily really excited about conversing very much on that. He shared his attitude. He admitted that he was prejudiced and towards, towards the surgery, that that was his occupation and that's what he did. Lo and behold, I saw an, an ad for Procure. Procure in Oklahoma City is one of only nine centers in the United States that provides proton therapy. Procure treated its first patient here in 2009. Now it is 500 patients strong and growing. X-rays are like a bullet and they'll travel through and through, meaning if a tumor is in the middle of the head, say in the pituitary gland, you'll see radiation come in on the right side and exit on the left. And you'll actually see hair loss on the distal side of the beam. Whereas with protons, it's a charged particle. It's much more like a firecracker. And the protons will go a set distance, have a sudden explosion of energy, and then will stop. Proton therapy reduces normal radiation levels in children by 99%. For people with cancer at the base of the brain, it's cut by 80%. For men with prostate cancer, radiation to the bladder is down 35% and the rectum 60%. We have a lot of patients that come in from out of town. We have a lot of patients who are local. Every Wednesday, a luncheon celebrates new Procure graduates and alumni. The food is healthy, but the real benefits are the continued friendships following treatment. Many of these patients were side by side in their daily proton therapy sessions and have forged strong bonds. I had just been diagnosed with prostate cancer. It was two days before my daughter's wedding, and for about two or three days, we drove by the Procure Center. And she said, well, why don't we just stop in there and get some information? So we picked up a brochure, began to read, study, do some research, and I thought, this sounds too good to be true. But it wasn't. It wasn't too good to be true. After my uh, biopsy, we talked to uh, the urologist who did my biopsy, and I said, what do you think about proton therapy? And he said, I think it's BS. <laughs> and I agree. It is BS. It's better stuff. <laughs> Isn't it? Amen? It's better stuff. We can make um, Oklahoma City uh, one of the nation's finest cancer care treatment destinations. And it's great news for the citizens of Oklahoma City and Oklahoma, but I also think uh, it's going to be very attractive for people across the country simply because we have this um, innovative new way to treat cancer, but we also um, um, do it in a, in a community that's very friendly and easy to get along in, around in and also doesn't cost an arm and a leg to stay here during the, during the term of your cancer treatment. So very fortunate to have been a part of it. For Aubrey and, and company to, to have the foresight to invest in this and then to also stand up and say, and we want the first one of these here in Oklahoma City, not the first in the nation, but the first of procures here, um, was a blessing to all of us that live here that had the opportunity of taking the advantage of it. Life is, quite frankly, absolutely no dis different than it was two years before I was diagnosed. I mean, I, I, I feel no differences uh, whatsoever. And um, so, remarkable. I mean, you know, what can I say? I mean, I just, I, I feel, um, I, I'm blessed, fortunate, and, um, and it's, you know, it's, it's just been great.